Right. So our example of trying to use consensus to reduce is going to be the following. We're going to have A bar, C bar, D, or A bar, B, D, or B, C, D, or A, B, C, or A, C, D bar. Now let's just write it down what is consensus again so we can look to see how we're going to get this item to work. And I'll highlight the important aspect you will be looking for. Okay, the important thing we're going to see is we need to identify an X and an X bar because those will be what is left over. Now, when you start doing consensus, you may have to try a couple of times to try to figure out what can be grouped and what cannot. It will take a little bit of experience in order to get this down. And even once you've done it a number of times, you may have got to rethink, should I group these two terms together or these other two terms together? So it's not a clear cut way as the other reductions we have been looking at. All right, so first thing we're gonna start off with is this X and this X bar. All right, so let's take this first term. This first term is A bar CD. And let's just go down each term and see if we see something that could potentially be an X and an X bar. Now, as we start going down these terms, let me just erase and then uh, highlight again. Uh, you see we have an A bar and an A bar. Well, that's X and X, so that doesn't really help us. Here we have a D and a D. Well, that's just X, so that doesn't really help us as well. Well, here we'll see we have a C bar and a C. All right, that's starting to form up this X and X bar. So let's take that C as being my X. So let's just write down these two terms. And we're gonna do, a, do this in a couple of different steps so we can kind of understand what's occurring. All right, so we look at this now. And I have this X and X bar. So you see that I need a Y and a Z. So let me take this A bar D, write it the other way, sorry. So that's a Y. And then let's take this BD and make that a Z. Now in order to get this to reduce, I am looking to see, do I have something that is YZ? So let's substitute right back in. Y was a bar D and Z is BD. So here you have to know, you have to identify that you have two D's and two D's, you can just erase it to be one D. And at this point we see, look at that. We have a match right here. We have A bar, we have B, and then we have D and D. So in this case, the way the setup is, we go back to this piece over here, what is consensus, it says that that YZ can go away. So all of this can be removed. So we're starting to get reductions starting to form. All right, so now I'm just gonna rewrite down the X bar Y, so that's A bar C bar D. Next term was removed, we're back to B C D, and then we're gonna have A B C plus A C D bar. All right, so we're seeing that we're starting to make progress. Now, let's just keep going down and see if there's anything else that we have. So here we have an A bar and an A, so that gives us an X and an X uh, a bar. But you should, notify, should identify that you have a C and a C bar, or those two, if they became YZ, would just remove that entire term. So that's not possible for us. So we cannot have complements in the Y and the Z piece. Um, same thing would happen here if we took this A bar and A, we have C and D bar, C bar and D, you know, those would all cross out as well. So you gotta kind of pay attention that the YZ terms did not have complements in it. So if we look at this, we do have one more that we can use. The one that we have left is this D and this D bar. So you see you have CC, that's fine. You have an A and a B, that's fine. You have nothing that's complements. All right, so let's make this an X. Let's make that an X bar. 
Let's write down what remains. So we have BC and then we have AC. All right, so now we're gonna make this BCY. So I'm gonna have a Y term. I'm gonna make this AC my Z. So I have a Z term. And let's just write this back up. BC, AC, we have two uh, C. So I can, let's just rewrite this to be ABC. And now we can look at it and we see, oh, yep, we have something that lines up that can get removed. So let's just write down our remaining terms, A bar, C bar D plus B, C, D. The A, B, C is gone. And then we're left with A, C, D bar. All right, so that should get you kind of started on how to start thinking about consensus. You will have to try, you know, a couple of different times to see everything, you know, work. You know, if you're doing your work on a tablet, like the way I'm doing it digitally, it makes it a little bit easier. You can highlight stuff and examine and erase on paper. You know, you'll have a lot of, you know, pencil erases, but you should be able to do this. All right, so that uh, concludes, you know, how to do our reductions.